Joe, uh, were you concerned at all that um, the top tackles might all be off the board by the time you got to 11? And can you just describe what it was like watching the top 10 and realizing, you know, that one of these tackles was going to be there for you and Makai was going to fall to you at 11? Yeah, absolutely, uh, Brian. We, um, I think in, in all of our dry runs, um, you know, when we, when we sit in our strategy meetings and go over scenarios, you know, I think we work from a worst-case scenario. Uh, you know, and the first thing was to, you know, make sure that we had 11 guys we were excited about, and we did. Um, I think I think we definitely uh, had a concern that there could be a run on tackles, that they could all go uh, before before pick 11. I think once we got – once we got to uh, to Jacksonville um, and uh, Arizona, really Arizona, uh, when they took Isaiah Simmons, I think that's when we knew, hey, we got a real shot of landing of landing one of our top guys here. Was Beckton the number one tackle you had? You said he was the number one guy available at the time, but uh, did you have him slotted above the two guys who were taken previously? And secondly, uh, do you ultimately envision him uh, being on the left side? So uh, on the first part of your question, I don't want to get into the, the actual player rankings um, as they pertain to any any position. Uh, but I will say he was he was the best player on our board uh, at the time that we that we selected. So um, I can't tell you how excited we are to add him to our team. Um, and then as far as you know, where he's going to play, you know, I, I said it. Uh, I believe the last time we got together, you know, we're we're really going to try to put our best five out there. And so I think I think we're, we're going to have great competition at multiple spots on the offensive line and training camp, and I'm looking forward. To it. Just with the uh, flag test at the combine, when you what was your reaction when you found out about that, and how much subsequent uh, background checking did you do uh, on Makai, and did you actually have a conversation with him after that, just to double back and you know see what was going on there? Right, good good question, Rich. We. Um, Certainly, you know, it raises the flag when an instance like that like that comes up. Um, and so, like I said last week or earlier in the week, you know, we'll, if a case like that comes up, it's time for us to take a deep dive on exactly the why uh, that that happened. Uh, I feel like our staff uh, did an unbelievable job of talking to as many people that have been around Makai as they possibly can. And um, the number one thing that just kept coming back is just, how good of a how good of a soul this, this young man has, how good of a heart this young man has. And uh, I, I was able I was able to uh, to have a conversation, uh, one on one conversation with Makai yesterday. And uh, it, it was it was a great conversation. You guys know I don't like to really get into the specifics of any conversation with a player, but I will tell you that, that it, it was a it was an excellent conversation.